1871 was the last crossing of the France across the Atlantic. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. It was the last crossing. So we went from Sherbrooke to New York, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a beautiful ship. Oh, yeah. Was it ever? Ship, but, but we asked each other now, is this ship running on gasoline or on champagne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It had all the luxury. Of course, if you have uh, one, uh, if you have the equal number of passengers, the equal number of uh, yes. of crew, yes. then of course, it's economically impossible. Right. And um, yeah. it is now, if I'm not mistaken, it is now in uh, as a sightseeing object right. in Los Angeles. Oh, is uh, that right? On, uh, yeah, on Long yeah. Beach. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. Same thing. yeah, because my son who lives in uh, France, who lives in the Bay Area of San Francisco, is right. married there, and he went with his wife down to Los Angeles, and he told her, "Well, now I show you where I was on that ship." Mm. So they went on that France. Uh, of course, after years and years, it's it's crumbling a little bit. Sure, but, but it is a sightseeing. Okay. Yeah. And and from then on, uh, we had the flights, of course. Uh, no, the ship didn't work anymore. So that was the last year, The it, uh, so we were lucky. Yeah, we were lucky. It was the last year, absolutely. Yeah, we were yeah. lucky. Yeah. Yeah. We many ways, in yeah. so many ways. We were talking last night about, <clears throat> we, uh, we, well, neither, it was our first trip on a boat like that, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So neither of us, well, for most of us. It, it no, yeah. Lucky. So we went down into the dining room. Afternoon, I think. And the very, very first, just very first, we just when we got in, and we thought, you know, they had it all set up, and they had some nice rolls on the table. Uh -huh. and we're looking around, going, "Whoa, I wonder if we could have one of those." <laughs> <laughs> and so we said, and then he says, "Let's just take one." And so we took one, and then when dinner came, and they said, "They showed us this is where you're having dinner." <laughs> Really? We thought we were, we thought we were, we thought we were being sneaky, no, you know, no. by taking a, a very nice croissant or something like right, that. And, right, right, and, right. But right. no. And then at night I remember saying, gee, I'd like a ham and cheese sandwich with a glass of orange juice. Yes. And uh, <coughs> what we had to do was push the bell and the guy would come. Usually you know, the guy's name was Jacques. Yeah. 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 And he said, you mean we don't have to pay you a lot of money for that? Oh, monsieur, it's part of the service. You know, Whoa. <laughs> then you have the big menu? Yes. Oh. I still have my menu. You, no, you yes. really? Oh my goodness. She kept all those menus. Isn't that something? Well, they put two bottles of wine in the middle of the table. Yes. And the first night, we proportioned the wine so everybody just, you know, just Do get enough. And then yeah. we, and we just finished the bottles about the end of the meal. Well, they bring two more <laughs> right away. You go, what? <laughs> you bring more wine <laughs> after you're done? <laughs> Dessert lasted two hours. Well, this was the last uh, experience. And then, of course, we were in Paris. Yep. Yeah. We went we Paris the for one night, and two nights, and then yeah. the, the next day you had the Albeck Express. Right. Yes. Yep. Right. Right. Albeck Express. Albeck Express from yep. actually from Paris to Salzburg. Yep. Right. I remember then when the train arrived, we were there at the station. And the you had no idea what yeah. was ahead yeah. of you. Yeah. Right. Right. Now, uh, also the Albeck Express is not running anymore. No. No, no because of the flight. Yes. Okay. Oh. Yeah, you, you fly, and you absolutely, the, those uh, travel amenities that we had 40 years ago, that's just changed for us. But we still had it. Yes. <laughs> still there yeah. on the France. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. those were very yeah. nice. And Father Bristol, he was nice. Very. He was very nice. He took care of those things because he was in charge and made all the arrangements and the, mm -hmm. uh, orders and so forth and uh, and said, well, if we can have the France, we take the France. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize. We were lucky then, really lucky. Yeah, then. yeah, yeah was absolutely. The last it was the last time. It was the last time that we went through it. And uh, from then on, of course, it was the, uh, was the airlines. Yeah. Right. And the airlines uh, went from leadership, uh, mostly from Chicago. Chicago, New York, yeah, yeah, and um, uh, actually we made it together that uh, we should all come together in New York, mm -hmm. and, uh, Kennedy, and then fly over uh, to Paris, and from 
Paris to, the, to Munich, mm -hmm. and from Munich you take a, you take a, a, a bus, a coach to, yeah. to Salzburg. Well, it was three or four days. And one thing I remember very well was, I went with the ne next group there, we went on the airplane from, from uh, New York to Paris, when the Charles de Gaulle airport was just open. Right. And then we changed from, uh, from Paris with a smaller plane to Munich. And when we arrived in Munich, it was about two o'clock in the afternoon, and you had this overnight. And, and then we said, well, we have a, a kind of youth hostel to stay overnight, and everybody was tired and sleepy. We said, well, now, go and rest. <laughs> but an hour later came, comes a lady, you have an appointment for a tour, a city tour. We are tired. <laughs> the city tour. No, no, it is no, a Father schedule. Bristol says so. So I either knocked on everyone's door and said, well, you have to get up, we have to go on a city tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go on a city tour. And then we were sitting there on that tour, and then we had a lady who was explaining what it is. Now in Bavaria, in Munich, you have the Ludwig number one, the Ludwig number two, the Ludwig number three. And when she came to Ludwig number 12 and 14, we all were asleep. 